Hello all, welcome to the first session of the SAT slash ACT series. Let's get started with this question. Right? So we have a parabola as shown on the board. The parabola has two x-intercepts, 2 comma 0 and minus 4 comma 0. Even the y-intercept of 0 comma 16 over 3 is also given and we have to find the vertex of the parabola. Right? Now we all know that a parabola is symmetrical around the axis of symmetry. Right? So we know off the bat that the x coordinate of the vertex would be the midpoint of these two points, right? So the x coordinate of the vertex will be minus 4 plus 2, minus 4 plus 2 divided by 2, which is minus 2 divided by 2, which is minus 1, right? So we know very clearly that the x coordinate of this vertex of this parabola would be minus 1, right? All we got to do is to now find the y coordinate of the vertex. And for finding the y coordinate, we will need to have the equation of the parabola. Once we have the equation of the parabola, we can put x equal to minus 1 and get the corresponding y, and we will be done, right? Now, before we get started further, we need to understand that what are the different ways in which we can represent a parabola, right? So the first form is the standard form, which is y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c, right? This is the standard form. The second is the vertex form, which is y is equal to a x minus h whole square plus k, where h comma k represent the vertex of the parabola. And the third form is the roots form, wherein y is equal to a x minus x1 times x minus x2, and x1 and x2 are the roots of the parabola or the x-intercepts of the parabola, right? Now, in this given question, obviously, we are given the two roots, so it makes sense for us to use this third form, right? So, we say y is equal to a, x, let's say this is the first root, x1, which is minus 4, so x minus minus 4 is x plus 4, and then this would be x minus 2, right? Now we also know the other point, 0, 16 over 3, which is on the parabola. So we can put this point here in terms of y and x and get the value of a, right? So 16 over 3 is equal to a. 0 plus 4 is 4. 0 minus 2 is minus 2, right? So we get minus 8a is equal to 16 over 3 or a is equal to minus 2 over 3, right? So we got the value of a, which happens to be minus 2 over 3, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to plug this value of a over here and put the value of x as minus 1, which we found out earlier was the x coordinate of the vertex, and get the corresponding value of y. Let's see what it comes out to be. So the value of a we found was minus 2 over 3. Our parabola looks like this, a x minus x1 times x minus x2. So y is equal to minus 2 over 3 x minus x1, x minus minus 4 is x plus 4, and then x minus 2, right? So this is the equation of our parabola. We can find the y value for any given x. In our case, we are interested in finding the y value when x is negative 1. So we'll put x as negative 1 here. So negative 1 plus 3 and negative 1 minus 2, minus 2 over 3 times 3 times negative 3 because this is 4. So the y value would be 6, minus 2 times minus 3. So finally, the coordinate of the vertex is minus 1 comma 6. Hopefully you guys got a good understanding in terms of what are the different ways in which we can represent a parabola or a quadratic function. And depending upon the situation or the scenario, we can leverage whatever form is most applicable. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, please do like and subscribe.